Hey, it's up. This is Kasong Kamala Kepperu for New World Dimensions, and it's about, I'd say, around 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I've been up all night. I've got my uh, coffee here to uh, keep me awake. I'm actually going to try and get a little bit of sleep, but I wanted to talk to you about the, uh, the false reality that we live in. So uh, let me set this down for a second and then go right into um, what I wanted to discuss with you. We live in a world that propagates a false reality. They want you to look at things from an external perspective as if um, what you see around you is all there is and there's nothing underneath that. But you have to understand that um, the reality that we're living in right now is a projection of the thoughts and beliefs that you harbor inside of you. So it's almost like a movie where you are the screenwriter and you're writing the script and everybody is a character and you're playing a character, the main protagonist in your own film. The thing that you have to keep in mind is that you can't get caught up in the story of a roller coaster ride and start to believe that the story is real. You have to understand that you reincarnated into this world and decided what type of story that you wanted to live. You wrote the story. And every now and then, reality will ping you, meaning reality will let you know that what you are involved in is really a creation of your own thoughts and beliefs. And the way that you do that is by the state of trance, or what we call is state. When you're in a state of excitement or hyperactivity, that's when the world around you will give you indications that this is a rejection of what you're thinking, of what you are. It is not an objective reality, meaning that this, it doesn't exist apart from you. So keep that in mind and think about that. And let's talk about that. If you're in a state of hyperactivity, of excitement, and let's say you're thinking about, I'm going to say something really strange like Cheerios. You're going to see signs of Cheerios pop up every now and then. You may be walking to the grocery store. Some guy walking towards you has a Cheerios uh, t-shirt on. And I am not kidding you. That is the universe or the constructed reality signaling back to you that, hey, this is made up. This is your creation. This is not real. And it can happen, and you can test this with anything. You can start thinking about squirrels. And I guarantee you, no matter where you are in a big city or wherever, you're going to see indications of a squirrel or squirrels. And this is, again, reality pinging you and letting you know that this is a construction of your own thoughts and beliefs. And the problem is that we exist in a world, again, that is dictated by a social structure, structure by the government that we live in to kind of give you a false sense of what's going on. They're trying to tell you that all the ills of the world cannot be controlled and is not within your power and those things are really what you created to have an experience. Think about that. You created that to have an experience, to learn from that. So next time you're walking through life and your daily experiences, understand it's a creation of you. It's your creation. The characters in the story are your characters. You're the protagonist, and you have a direct influence on how things unfold. If you understand that, then you realize that you're not powerless, and also you don't need an outside savior to come in and rescue you. It's all within you, what you think, how you feel, that controls this environment. The environment pings you back to let you know it's a creation um, that comes from within you. There have been times that I've been talking to people, um, and interacting with groups, and they have been saying things that I have been thinking. And it, it, I'm just like, how the heck did they know what I was thinking? How does this topic come up? And it comes up because reality is telling me that these are cast of characters that I created, these are situations that I created, and everything that's going on here is a construct of my thoughts and beliefs. It is not an objective reality, meaning it, doesn't, meaning it does not exist apart from the observer, apart from me. Think about that. Uh, I'm going to get some rest. This is Gasankma Keparu for New World Dimensions. That's all for now.